welcome back to this city under siege. Um, I guess let's just make our way around. Investigate various things. Um, Temple of Joaquin, Countess. I guess the tavern would be a good place to go. The Arcana Archives also sounds interesting. I mean, we're going to hit everything, so... Start with this trap door. It is locked. Anyone? Yep. Do you have that? Gotcha. Uh, no. Not a conventional lock. Figures. It's probably one of the ways we can get in. Yeah. I'm guessing there's probably multiple ways. Yeah, I'll see to it. All right. Give me Artorius. I'm gonna have you zoom around the city, looking for things. Sending fire giants at us. Oh, a random scroll. I was going to say it's not a very big city, but it looks like uh, there's more city on the outside of the wall. Huh. The wall doesn't go all the way around. That's a little sad. Collected for the use of whoever knows how to place them. <laughs> I mean, there's perhaps some truth to that. Ah, the docks. Uh, we are all here but so then, where the hell is the gate to get I in here? Is it, uh. I don't think I saw a gate. You have the docks there. Huh. Well, unless that's a gate. But no, that's the castle. It actually, it's pretty ballsy not to have a wall on this side, even though there's water. All right, let's talk to, I saw one person with a name, Oris. Nimble finger. Hmm? How did I come into this? I'm just a simple farmer. It is, is it my fault my father was the Lord of Murder? <laughs> no, no, it is not your fault. You're one of Paul's children. Well, why can't, why aren't you inside the castle with the rest of the ball spawn? Ball may have been my father, but I want no part of this. I came to Saradush to escape persecution in my hometown. Now all I want is to try and blend in with the normal folk. In that case, I strongly recommend against just declaring that your father is Ball. Man, anyone's got great hearing. I know it's hard when you've learned your father was a god of pure evil. You just have to find a way to deal with it. I did. Eventually. Yep. I think we all have to deal with him on. Some embrace it more than others. Pointed stare at Saravok. Just leave me alone. I can't tell you anything. I'm just a simple farmer. All I want is my normal life back. Damn this cursed mortal lineage. Understandable. Very understandable. All right. Let's start at the tavern then. I'm waiting. We need to rest anyways. I'm there. Ilkhan soldiers. And a few people named. Volo. All right, everyone else, wait right there. I'm just gonna... I thought I saw stairs. No. All right. Let's make our way around the room then. Hecton? Good day to you, sir. 
Strangers are a rare sight here in Serodush these days. You know we're strangers? Do you know anything about Melisan? Oh, yeah. I assure you, my lord, I know nothing of that. Hmm, pretty quick to shrug us off there. Hmm? How about uh, Wayne de Gromner's castle? Uh, nothing about that, of course. All right, then. Maybe the drunk knows something. I need some help. Mm, probably not. Pergrim uh, Allison or Aelson. This we're in a tavern. It's probably this, probably the latter. I trust all is well. Pergrim Aelson, at your service. I hope you ha I hope we have what you need. A stiff drink, perhaps. Dark times call for a dark ale. Am I right, my lord? Oh yeah, since apparently he's the owner of this bar. This tavern. Almost certainly Aelson. Let's see. Not too many friendly faces in this town, are there? Saradouche was a nice place uh, not long not too long ago. Then the ball spawn started showing up. Gromnir took over. And now we're under siege. Can't blame folks if they've taken a dislike to strangers. Hmm. Once again, fair. Still, life and business go on for a while. All a man can do is carry on and hope for the best. That's my philosophy. Anything else I can help you with? Um. So anyway. Oh man, yawns today. To get out of this town, or are we all trapped here? You think I'd still be ru uh, here running my business if I knew a way out? Not even the mages can escape this place, or so I've heard. Oh. I have some sort of anti-teleportation up. Or the mages just don't mages just don't know teleportation. Speaking of which we've never actually We've never found a teleport scroll, have we? Not that it would be too useful in a game with fast travel, but Um What can you tell me about Gromner Ilkhan? Bah! I should spit in disgust every time I hear his name. But he's not worth the effort. Gromner Ilkhan's nothing but a bully, a cruel, cowardly little despot. I, I think he has some soldiers over there. I'd be a little careful. It was bad enough here with all these refugees showing up these past few months. But at least they didn't bother nobody. Gromner's a different story. First, his troops ran off Count uh, Santel. Then they started terrorizing the townsfolk. Next thing we knew, the next thing we know, we're caught in between a tyrant of uh, a tyrant we hate and an army outside our walls that wants to kill us all just to get at him. Talk about a rock and a hard place. Hmm. What about a woman named Melisande? Melisun? Wish I'd never heard her name. Nothing against her as a person, you understand. She's a fine woman, always looking to help out the less fortunate. So why don't you wish you'd heard her name, just because of the circumstances? But that's the problem, see? She brought these balls spawned to Saradouche to try and protect them, and now the whole town is doomed. Good intentions, bad results. Yeah, alright. I can I can understand that as well. Still not entirely sure I can trust her intentions, but Do you know any way I might get into the castle to speak with Gromner? Don't know why you'd want to meet with Gromner Ilkhan. Oh well, you know. To put a sword through him. Probably. Maybe we could talk it out, but that's probably what's gonna happen. Most of us do our best to avoid him and his troops, but I might be able to uh, help you out of this out in this matter for a fee isn't the fact I'm here to help Saradush enough for you hey business is business even in these troubled times if you want the information you have to pony up the gold how much 
I'll need 1,000 gold to share this little secret. Hmm. I'll give you 500. Sorry, my friend. This is a seller's market. The full thousand or no deal. Come on back when you're ready, willing, and able to part with that precious gold. Gold. What would happen if you didn't have any gold? I wonder if there's somewhere in town you can earn that much. It's hard to imagine you'd be at this point in the game without at least a thousand gold, but I don't know. Maybe I'm a heavy, a big cent, a big spender. I trust all is well. Uh, what service do you have? Excellent. See the bartender for a list of our services and items for sale. Of course. I'll talk to you later. I'll get that information. I'll bite that information off of you, maybe. Locked. You may or may not get upset uh, if we try to unlock it. Hello, Volo. Uh, yes, the uh, a tab. Um, I'm not here for your tab. Another ale, young miss. I'll be sure to have your funds ready. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you sound like you will. Uh ah. I knew you would turn up here eventually. Volo fam, get on. Oh, Volo for short. I said to me, Volo fam, get on, I said to myself. Rest assured, wherever history is being made, Artorius and his companions are close at hand. You're not wrong, but how the hell do you know who I am? Who are you? Do I know you? Wait, do I know him? Come now, surely you know that wherever history is being made, I, Volo, will be there to chronicle events. You don't become the most famous historian on Faerun without finding yourself right in the thick of things. I mean, I've seen him around in the previous games. Of course, this time I'm a little closer than I normally like to get, but don't worry about me. I always find a way to get out of these tight situations. What can I do for you, Volo? Oh no, Artorius. The question is, what can I do for you? The answer, of course, is immortalize you and your companions in my historical records. I think that's going to happen regardless with all we've done. Here's a little preview of what I've got so far. Ahem. <clears throat> Raised as a child in the cloistered confines of Candlekeep. I like the uh, little alliteration there. Artorius emerged from these humble beginnings to become one of the most powerful mortals that ever set foot upon the face of Toril. This, you might have to revise that at uh, some point soon, depending on how this all goes. No, I suppose we were mortal at the time, so. Saving the city of Baldur's Gate, defeating the mad mage John Irenicus, Preserving the Tree of Life. Such heroic accomplishments are mere footnotes in the epic tale of Artorius, greatest of the children of Baal. Are they, though? I feel like those are the main points. I mean, I've done a lot more than that, but, um... Those were literal side quests. Ahem. That's just a small taste of my entry on your exploits. I mean, you left out all the detail. Ugh. Of course, the ending is not yet complete. This is still a first draft, but you get the idea. And that's not all. If you care to listen, I can give you a small preview of what I'm, go preview of what I'm going to say about those people who have the glory of adventuring with you. I'm actually really curious. Oh, what I want to hear about them? Let's hear more about me. No, yeah, I want to hear what you have to say about them. Let's see. Tell me about, uh, Aerie. Let's just go in order. Those who knew Aerie as the frightened little girl in the circus would be amazed at her transformation. Few things in the history of the realms have been, 
have become as powerful in both priestly and wizardly magics as the innocent elf. Oh, I don't think I deserve all that. There are so many opponents we face who seem to have more power than us, no matter how much we grow, grow. But it does sound nice. Aw. Aerie's a little flustered. How about Imowen? From an anonymous childhood in the monastery at Candlekeep, Imowen stepped forth, a young woman with the blood of an immortal in her veins and the power of an archmage at her command. Well, I mean, I don't know if she was that strong of a mage at this point, but... Ooh, an archmage. I like the sound of that. But you forgot beautiful. He did forget that. All of the sorceresses in Winthrop's books were beautiful and terrible. Well, you're not terrible. You're just the other. Watch, see? See how I flip my hair and glare at you? Don't I look evil? I guess she wants to be terrible. Should I be worried about that? It's probably fine. How about Minsk? Oh, you must have something great to say about Minsk. And what about Boo? I do not see Boo here. With a thundering bellow and a mighty sword, Minsk and his faithful hamster companion Boo. Very good. I was very disappointed you had forgotten him, if you had forgotten him. Have worked their way into the lexicon of the Faerunian vocabulary as true heroes. Evil beware. Ooh, Boo. He is going to mention you in his book. Isn't he a nice man? I mean, how could he not? I mean, Boo is pivotal, pivotal to our exploits. Pivotal, I tell you. Saravok? Er, Saravok? You mean THE Saravok? He's with you? Sure he is. He's right here. He's right there. <laughs> yeah? Understandable you wouldn't know this. I'd be impressed if you did, since he literally just came back to life. Amazing. I had heard that a warrior of masterful skill was sighted, tra sighted traveling with you, Artorius. But even I could not guess at such a convolution. Imagine. The very man who once tried to kill you now fights by your side. I personally resurrected him from uh, and pulled him out of hell, too. I shall have to write that down now, so I don't forget. What a fantastic tale this will make. It is good enough. It is a good enough tale when I was alive the first time. Or it was a good enough tale when I was alive the first time. Sycophantic fool. Can't do Saravox, uh, deep, booming voice. Uh, tell me about the best, Baconia. The dark love of Artorius and a fierce servant of Shah. Konya has achieved the sort of immortal fame enjoyed by only one other drow in Faerun. Yeah, at this point, she probably will earn her place amongst, uh, the likes of Dritzt to Erden. Deadly, fierce, and devoted to her infamous lover. What? Why am I infamous? I have not done that much evil. I have been very much, at worst, neutral, but leaning towards good. Viconia's name, will, Viconia's name will forever be spoken in hushed tones and remembered as the mightiest force of Shar's shadowy faithful. Hmm, a worthy description, perhaps. Though the other drow you mention is, mention is nothing compared to me, and deserves no mention when I am at the topic of discussion. <laughs> I well, Baconia, it is dritzed. But it is your manuscript, yes? I mean, I love you, Baconia. But uh, I wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't, uh, downplay dritz that much. Alright, I think I've heard enough. Thank you, Artorius. I can't begin to tell you how pleased I am to meet you while you are in the middle of an adventure that will change the shape of the realms. Truly, I only hope I can do your tale justice. Happy to know that someone is chronicling my, ta chronicling my tale. Alright, uh... Helt... J... Hi, friend. I'm not insane! I'm not! 
could have fooled me. Or excuse me? Nobody believes me. Why would they? You mean why wouldn't they? After all that's been going on in Saradush, why even think about the fact that there are monsters amongst us, preying on us? Are there? Whoa, slow down, what are you talking about? You, you're right. I'm babbling, aren't I? It's, it's just that I know that they're searching for me. They know that I know about them. The nights aren't safe for me. I can't even flee the city. Yeah, who? Know about who? The vampires. The courtesans. Some of them, anyway. They started disappearing after the siege began. No one knew where they went. And then, they started to reappear. Changed. That is a classic kind of tale, but... I'm gonna color me skeptical. I somehow doubt we're gonna be dealing with more vampires this soon. Nobody noticed because of the siege, but it's true. They've moved down into the old prison. There are layers there, I swear. They come this to this bar at night to feed on their customers. Are you sure they're not sucky? Why? I have no idea how many there are now. So many people die every day here. What's a few more? I was taken down to the prison myself, but I got away. And now they hunt for me. I think you would already be dead if that were true. I know, I sound crazy. Nobody wants to listen to me. But it's true. I'm a dead man. What are you going to do about it? Do about it? <laughs> I'm going to die, obviously. Unless... Unless I can hide. I've got to hide. Torm, help me. I've got to hide. Oh, he's gone. I was planning on asking him more questions, but, uh... That's too bad. Be a king? Hi, friend. Ah, oh, my brother. You actually my brother? As in your ball spawn, or... I should have expected it would all end like this. Who are you? Another of Gromnir's ball spawn followers, I presume? Wait, did I run into him and trade me? Perhaps I spent a brief time there. Between jumps. Between jumps? What are you talking about? Was you and trade me? You vanished in a flash of light right between in front of my eyes. The curse of my... I don't remember if that actually happened. But it might have. The curse of my ball-tainted blood. Whenever I was afraid, I would suddenly be teleported to a completely new part of the world. Most disruptive, especially when I was being hunt while I was being hunted. By whom? By other ball spawn, of course. Yagashura, for one. Others? What if I tried to build a life, the hunters would show up, and poof, I'd jump. Or teleport, if you rather. Not a very comfortable thing to live with. What, teleportation? Uh, so how come you even jumped out of Saradish? It's kind of ironic, actually. I ran into Melisande during my... travels. She helped me, as she tries to help all the ball, all the balls spawn. She helped me cure myself so my fear wouldn't make me jump anymore. So she cured you of your fear or of your power to jump? At first, it was great relief. Knowing you can be snatched away without any warning is a little upsetting. But now, trapped here, I pray every day that my curse will manifest itself again. Ah, okay, so is the latter. Hmm... You must resent Melisande for putting you in this situation. Melisande was only trying to help me. She had the best of intentions, though obviously events have not worked out as we all hoped. Well, uh, I may be able to provide a happy ending to this remarkable story if you tell me how to find Gromnir. Can't imagine why you'd want to meet with Gromnir. He's rather unstable. Paranoid, even. But he isn't that hard to find. He's in the throne room in the castle, so I, or so I hear. That's all I can tell you. Hmm. Alright, well, let's talk to the ball, uh, bartender. I was going to say the ball tender for a second, but uh, I doubt he's a ball, uh, <laughs> ball spawn, too. Uh, uh, yes, I want to see your services. 
The siege has somewhat depleted my larders. Understandable, that's what sieges do. It's pretty much what they're for. But you are welcome to whatever I have in stock. Unlike most folks here, I don't blame you outsiders for all the troubles. Thank you. I was going to say it sells a lot of uh, plus three weapons, but Yamato. Plus one armor class. Wow. Is it a Wakazashi, a Scimitar, or a Ninjato? It means guardian or defender. Kind of similar to um, one of my flails, isn't it? Over here. I think I'm done with the Daystar. I never use it anymore. It's only a plus two. We have better weapons. Basically just taking up space. Probably worth keeping the green stone. Never know what we're going to end up facing. That has any of these abilities. Oh, wow. This so straight up protects you from all magical uh, attacks. That's actually really, really nice. And it's only level six. Gotta be a catch there. It lasts one turn per level, too. Gotta be a catch. Let's make sure to drink a little while we're here. Uh, Dragon's beer sounds good. Several sources claim that a section of the old underground jail was sealed off somehow because it was full of monsters. How they got there, no one is sure. Yeah, so there's probably something down there, but um, whether it's vampires or not, I guess we'll find out. All healed up. All right. See what you have to say for a thousand gold. I trust all is well. How much do you want? Ah, uh, here's your money now. Start talking. There's an old abandoned jail in the city where Count Santel could imprison his political enemies. Rumor holds that there was a secret passage from the jail into the castle. So we're going down to the jail. Regardless. But the jail never got much use. Nobody bothered to look after it. Eventually, it became overrun with undead. And the Count secretly asked Sister uh, Feriel the temple to seal the entrance. How do you know all this? A very good question. Sister Feriel and I have a very close relationship. Uh-oh. If, if you get my drift. If you talk to her, she might give you the key to the sealed door of the jail. Seeing as how we're all doomed anyway. Sure. Especially if I explain her my to her my intentions. Alright then, thank you for that. Probably would have found that either way just by walking around talking to people, but give me some direction. Alright. I wanna go to the Arcana uh, archives next. Oh, Alexander Ralasar. Hmm? You don't look like one of the locals. Are you a child of, child of Ball as well? Lured here like the rest of us to face our inevitable end? As well, what do you mean? I myself am one of Ball's progeny, or so I've been told. I guess Ball's blood runs thicker in some of his children than others. Seems to be some truth to that. Like Seravok and myself definitely was thicker through us. By your sniveling manners, I would say Ball's blood runs very thin indeed in your veins. Bah, why do I even waste my breath tormenting this cowering cur? I don't know, why do you? Uh, is there anything I can else I can help you with? What can you tell me about Gromnir? I never liked Gromnir much. Too unstable if you ask me. I came to Saradish seeking sanctuary, but when he took over, decided to get as far away from him as possible. That's not true for all of us, though. I understand that there's quite a few ball spawn who uh, he's 
gotten to fight at his side. Some of them are pretty powerful, too. Good to know. What about Melisan? I hadn't met her until I came to Saradush. It sounded like she had lured you here. But I had heard her name. They said she promised to keep us Ballspawn safe. But it looks like we're all doomed despite her efforts. Maybe. We'll see. How did you get here exactly? I wasn't brought here by Melisan, like some of the others. I fled here from Sembia. My home village was burned to the ground by a dragon who claimed to be hunting me. A dragon? Oh, hunting you because you're a ball spawn, or... My friends, my family... It's not often a dragon gets involved like that in things. Usually they stain their layers. They threatened to give me to the dragon if I didn't leave, so I did. I heard a lot of other ball spawn were coming here. Uh, now I almost wish I hadn't come. Well, better than being eaten by a dragon. Do you nod again inside the castle? There's another child of ball about here. Who could teleport about? But I don't know if he could take you with him. Tim and Phila, anyway. Probably not the kind you're looking for. Oh! Is that the one who uh, was screaming about vampires? I don't know why you'd want to get into the castle anyway. My advice would be to stay the stay well away from Gromnir. When his army gets inside the walls, or when this army gets inside the walls, he's the first thing they're going to after for sure. Probably, but they, you know, they'll probably do the other standard things of uh, breaking a city under siege, burning, looting, pillaging, and uh, raping the uh, inhabitants. The sieges are pretty fucked up, especially in this kind of setting. All right, well, I'll be going now. I have an archive to look at. Whatever you wish. Soon enough, we shall all be dead anyway. I suspect. The walls won't hold forever. No, but they'll hold longer than your food stores will. In all likelihood. Lazarus? Libraria. <laughs> Libraris. <laughs> That's his actual name. Oh my god. What kind of parents do you have, Lazarus? <laughs> Libraris. I'm waiting. Hey. One gold. Hello. Wait, is okay, now that's a statue. Alright, let's talk to him. Have a look at my wares. I trust you'll find them all. Lazarus Libraris at your service. Welcome to the Arcana Archives. I would normally invite you to look at my magical wares, but alas, my shelves are completely bare. I have not even a single parchment left for you to purchase. Oh, so this was a shop. I wonder if we break the siege, will you, uh, get new wares and we can come back? My spellbook has been stolen. Without it, I cannot fashion the powerful scrolls which normally fill my shop. Please, mighty Artorius, I am... 80% sure I did not give you my name yet. I beg of you to help the humble wizard. Uh, what's in it for me? I only ask this of you because there's nowhere else I can return. And if you return my spellbook, I can craft scrolls of the greatest power for you. As many as you need of any spell you desire, all for the most reasonable of prices. Truly any spell I desire. All right, I'll help you. I thank you for your aid in solving the theft of my spellbook, Mighty Artorius. Is there anything I can do for you to aid your investigation? Well, tell me about the crime. At first, I suspected Hecton. He's well known about town for his sticky fingers. So he's a known thief? Or, you know, he just doesn't wash his hands and gets sticky stuff all over them. But after questioning many witnesses, 
It's clear that Hecton was at the local pub from dusk until dawn the night of the theft. It's a pretty solid alibi. I, sus I still suspect that no good thief Hecton was involved. I can clearly see the guilt in his face, but there's no proof. Without my spellbook, I am virtually powerless to pursue this myself. A newcomer to this town, or as a, and as a newcomer to this town, I have no one to turn to for help. Wait, you're a newcomer? Or are you talking to me? It sounds like you're talking about yourself, that you're a newcomer. But I imagine you meant something more like, and as a newcomer to this town, uh, I have no one else to turn to for help. Alright. I can make Hecton confess, probably. Any clues? There is but one clue, Artois. Though it does little to point the finger at Hecton. A set of muddy footprints leading from my window. Very small footprints. Far smaller than those of Hecton. Or any man or woman for that matter. Well, are we talking like halfling, gnome, dwarf? Smaller? Dog. <sighs> I regret that there is little else I can tell you. Hecton can usually be found in the tankard tree if you wish to question him. Alright, I'll return when my investigations are done. As you wish, I urge you Godspeed. Without my spellbook, I have no way to restock my inventory with the precious scrolls I normally carry. Hmm. Oh. You point I didn't mean to leave without them. Where Minsk goes, evil stands aside. Okay. I guess we could... Oh. Countess Santel's home? Wait, they were driven out, weren't they? Or was it only the Count that was driven out? I hope this is worth it. Let's go to this one first. This was an unmarked building. Yeah, I'll see to it. Just a single peasant and a bunch of chickens. What do you want? Good to go. We should kill something soon. My impatience grows. Yeah, I was about to say I don't want to steal from a bunch of peasants. Oh, he came back. What is it? A different one. You look a friendly face. Please help us. Grumner's men terrorize us in the streets, and I fear the army outside will soon burn Serodish to the ground. Almost certainly. How soon, I don't know. Well, no one's trying to kill us, so. It's done. Looks like uh, we're fine. Jeez. I can't believe that person would become hostile just from you, you know, perusing their uh, belongings. I didn't take anything. I'm there. Mm, the home is still very nice, even though they seem to not be in town anymore. Yeah, if it must be done. Name it. Means they won't be missing anything, right? right? You are. Give me some directions. Just in case it's trapped, I'll have Artorius do it. Left to me. Oh, only seventy-three gold. Seventy-four gold. I'm waiting. Guess they took their most of their belongings, uh, or most of their valuables before leaving. I mean, clearly not their pantry. Okay, Kaiser's home. Hey, not a concern. Locked, huh? Ready and willing. All right, all right. Hmm. 
complex looking lock. Nobody appears to be home at the moment. Fair enough. I uh, don't do the, want to do the prison yet. We'll do the... Mm. Guess we'll do the barracks. I hope this is worth it. Shoot, let's do the Temple of Joaquin first. Sister Feriel. I'll see to it. Would you get upset if I were to take that? Give me some direct. It's done. Apparently not. Oh, Oris, uh, nimble finger is here. See the one that ran away out of fear of what was in the prison? The vampires? I'm so happy you brought me with you. As I never always. imagined that we would be doing such great things. As Greetings, my brother, and I welcome you to the house of Joaquin. I'm Sister Feriel. How may I serve you? Um. Well, what do you know about Lady Melisan? A virtuous woman, a truly kind and compassionate lady. She brought the ball spawn to Saradush to find them sanctuary within its walls. It, w it is not her fault that Gromnir took advantage of our hospitality. She meant well. Fair enough. Everyone seems to speak well of her, even though they think she made a mistake. Alas, the siege has thwarted her noble efforts. When the walls fall, as they surely must, all the ballspawn will be slaughtered, and her efforts to save them will be for naught. Well, we either need to prevent them from happening, or uh, not be here when it does, since... I have no interest in being slaughtered. Is there still more I want I may do to aid you, brother? Um Tell me about uh, Gromner. Gromner is a tormented man, afflicted in both spirit and mind. The taint of ball poisons his blood and tortures his soul. I would feel more pity for him. He's been very... He's been... Very cruel. That's what people say. And was pretty obvious based off when, you know, the scene before us when we teleported here. Gromner trusts no one and has locked himself away in the palace to await the inevitable end of the siege. That's a really dumb move. Though I fear that he will first bring destruction to us all. I mean... He, sh <laughs> he should either be uh, mounting a counterattack or... You know, waiting for reinforcements or sending for reinforcements. You know, break someone through the siege line or sneak someone past it. There's still more I may do to aid you, though I guess he doesn't have allies. Which, you know... It's, uh, makes surviving a siege a lot harder. With no one to come and break it. Um... Do you know a way I might get into the castle and speak to Gromner? You wish to get inside the castle? Why? I would not suggest to anyone that they seek out Gromner. In his mind, he's capable of anything, brother. I mean, I'm fine to help the city. That is where I must go, sister. You... You do not seem like an evil person, brother. Very... Very well. I'll help you with your task. Though it will not be an easy one. Several years ago, I was asked to seal the entrance to the city jail to keep a great evil from escaping into the city. A great evil, huh? Oh boy. As a cleric of some power, I was the only one who could do so. I'm loath to reopen the entrance lest the evil escape into the city. But if you think you can reason with Gromnir to aid the city somehow, perhaps it is worth the risk. Definitely. What kind of evil, please? 
I sensed that powerful undead creatures had taken up residence in the abandoned jail cells. More than this, I cannot say, uh, more say, though, or say, though I would suggest you bring holy water with you before going down there. Do you have any? This key will open up the door to the jail. The door itself has been warded against the undead, but once you are below, you will have no protection against them yourself. I mean, what about my normal protection? You'll find the door across the street. I wish I could tell you where to go once you're down there. I know it connects to the castle, but not how. Take the key and be safe, brother. Thank you. I definitely didn't have to pay, uh, what's his name? Can I see your services? Certainly, my brother. We do not have much due to the siege, but I'll offer whatever aid I can. All right. Getting a little bit of holy water. Just in case. It's pretty cheap. Anything else? No. Yeah, no. No, we'll find vampires down there. Hmm? Just leave me alone. I can't tell you anything. I'm just a simple farmer. All I want is my normal life back. Damn this cursed immortal lineage. Wait, weren't you... You were the one who was outside. Talk to him again. I'm there. Okay. He runs back and forth, right? No, well, no, it looks like he's staying outside. All right. We still have the prison, of course, which will be our final task. You know, our final point of exploration. The Gromnir's barracks and the militia headquarters. Let's go to the barracks. Of course it's locked. And let me guess. No problem at all. Oh no, we couldn't lock this one. What is it? Hey, nobody's allowed in here but Gromner's men. You have about five seconds to slink out of here before I turn my men loose on you. Um I'm sorry, we're not looking for trouble. At least not yet. Get moving, then. I'm already counting those five seconds. If it must be done. Let's just uh, reload that. I might want to. Uh, I don't know if going in there a second time will uh, trigger them immediately, but I hope this is worth it. when we do eventually probably kill them all, <laughs> I'm gonna have words first. You know, say something to them. All right, militia. You guys seem to be open for business. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing Who's, uh, forth. You must gather Minsk. your party before venturing forth. You get forth. caught on somebody? You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing right. forth. Minsk, do you have room for cheetah boots? do please put them on all right let's uh what there we go be now countess Santel. oh she is here i know this is difficult for you but you have to make a positive identification yes Mirniel. Until he's the one, Matteo, he is the traitor. Did we just walk in on a trial? A court martial? No, the Countess must be mad with grief. There must be some mistake. You are certain, Countess? There is no mistake. I am certain. Before my beloved son, Arctic disappeared. He told me he had witnessed Matteo 
opening the gate. Ooh, in a siege, yeah. That's probably gonna get your head put on a spike. There, surely you see now, my overzealous Captain Simond, that your egregious accusations have needlessly vilified my impeccable character. Kaiser J uh, Jerry. Oh. So someone was supposedly opening the gates. Or did. And, uh, Captain Smond here was blaming Kaiser. But the Countess is covering for him by blaming someone else. It sounded like she was lying, though. Just with her, uh, Hesitance. Why are you doing this, Countess? I'm Arctic's friend. Your son and I grew up together. Captain, I stringently demand you incarcerate this heinous felon immediately. Yeah, this smells like a cover-up. You make no demands of me, Kaiser Jerry. Jairi. I fulfill my duties as I see fit. Men, take Martio away and escort the Countess to her quarters. Yes, please, take me away from this place. Oh. What is it? Well, Captain, am I free to go now? Is this travesty of justice, this witch hunt, this, this fiasco finally at an end? You're free to go, Kaiser. Get out of my sight. I'm in no mood to see your unscrupulous face right now. Well, he doesn't like him regardless. Good to know. I suppose such abuse is the best approximation of an apology I can expect from an uncouth cretin such as yourself, Captain Simond. Hammond. Well, uh, hello, Captain. Would you like to tell me what that was all about? Yeah. What, what can it, it be now? What? Oh. You must be one of the... You must be the ones Melisande told me about. Just what our town needs. More ball spawn. Oh. Uh, I mean... Not just more ball spawn. We are not your ordinary ball spawn. Uh, my name is Captain Simmond. I'm a very busy man right now. I have a few questions for you. Well, you better make it quick. I can't stay for long. I must see to the defense of the walls. Well. Why did you soldiers take the wing midway? Um. Yeah, let's start with that. That? Oh, a most unpleasant matter. A few days ago, someone opened a secret gate into the town. Saradish would, uh, could easily have been overrun. We just discovered the traitor was a young man named Matteo. You don't sound convinced. There's no doubt in my mind that someone betrayed us. The enemy came through a small sewer outlet. Oh, through the sally port? Sally gate? Um, that was protected by both a locked iron gate and several powerful magical wards. There's no way to open that entrance from the outside. Matteo is a faithful soldier, not the type of man to betray Saradish. Maybe he didn't. What about other suspects? I mean, obviously Kaiser. An alarm was raised, and my soldiers arrived only a few moments after the gate was opened. Found three people in the area. Matteo, Artic Santo, and that merchant Kaiser Jahiri. I suppose she could be covering for her son, too. I don't know why she'd cover for Kaiser. It'd make more sense if she was covering for her son. But, um... If... I was going to say, if they were both there, yeah, Monty would be able to, you know, point to Arctic. But, um, maybe they weren't. Well, no. 
They were both there. He said here, right here, that they found three people. When we began our investigations, I strongly suspected Kaiser. He's a greedy, self-serving weasel who would sell his own mother if the price was right. Yikes. Changed your mind. We didn't get a chance to complete our investigations. Arctic, the son of the Countess Santel, disappeared. He was our primary witness. Uh, what about, was he the culprit? How did you consider that as a possibility? No, not Arctic. Someone who didn't know better might think Arctic was taking revenge for Gromner's banishment of his father. But the Count had, n but the Count was nothing but a cruel, violent bastard. Hmm. So the previous count, wa count wasn't well loved either. Bromner did Arctic and the Countess a favor, and Arctic bears no ill will towards the town. Mm, but yeah, his disappearance is pretty suspicious. No, it, no, it isn't. Arctic was taking his regular shift manning the battlements. He wouldn't be the first taken by an enemy arrow or some foul spell. Or maybe Matteo murdered him. I mean, he would either be, uh, his body would be up there still, or fallen just over the wall. I doubt the enemy is collecting bodies. Why do you suspect Matteo now? Our attention was focused on the vile Kaiser Jahari, Jahari, but we had no proof. And then the Countess told us that Ardic, her son, had implicated Matteo before he disappeared. Hmm. Yeah, it is a very weak case. That's certainly not beyond a reasonable doubt. Not even close. Hmm. That's a pretty weak case, if you, uh, ask me. If you knew the Countess, you would know her word is beyond reproach. And no one's word is beyond reproach. And she has nothing to gain from a lie. Matteo was Arctic's closest friend. Accusing him was the very traumatic for her. Yeah, I saw that. Still, I have to admit... <sighs> this does not sit well in my gullet. I was so sure Kaiser Jahiru was the culprit, but the Skepper was one of my own men. I was shocked. Hmm. Mind if I come to watch the traitor's execution? Jeez. No. Um, seems like you want to wrap this up with a quick execute. So now you just sit back and wait for the executioner? Matteo will not be executed. Not while we are under siege. The defense of Seradush is my first concern. And if I had more time, or but if I had more time, I would investigate further. I just want to find the truth. I mean, you're not putting him back on the wall, are you? Because if he is responsible, I mean, having him out running about would be, I mean, it's too dangerous. Yeah, perhaps I could dive delve deeper into this matter for you. Wait, wait, oh, God damn it! I just saw... You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Oh, man, oh. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I still need to ask you some other questions. If you wish to investigate further, I will not stand in your way. Speak to Matteo in his cell. The jailer will let you see him. I really want to go back now. In fact, it is worth it. I'm going back to another save point. There it is. You want the truth? I do. That's <laughs> uh, okay. Damn it was. Uh, you want the truth? I want answers. Ah, I forget. It's been too long since I've seen that movie. Oh, but I love it. You can't handle the truth. 
Oh, I can't believe they put a reference to that in here. This, wait. Oh, when did that movie come out? It's old, but not too old. Tom Cruise is, it was, I think, post Top Gun. Maybe late 90s? Oh, it was still when this game came out. I think it would have been a still fairly recent movie. You wish to? <laughs> no, it didn't say anything in response. Still worth it. Um, I will not stand in your way. Speak to Matteo in his cell. The jailer will let you see him. Thanks. Um, I will write this injustice. I have more questions, though. Questions about Gr uh, Gromner. Gromner isn't much of a soldier, banning the city like abandoning the city like he did, and as a ruler, he's even more of a tyrant than Count Santel. Interesting that Count Santel was uh, considered a tyrant, but apparently his wife's integrity is uh, beyond reproach. I guess they were just very different people. The townsfolk or townsfolk are better off since Il Khan locked himself in that castle. Me and my soldiers have served this as the Sirdish militia for years. We don't need Gromner's help to defend the town. Fair enough, though. I imagine more would be useful. What about Melisan? Sirdish would have been better off if she had never brought all those balls spawn here. Sure, she tries to help out during the siege. But it's too little, too late. The damage is already done. Yeah. Uh. No way I can get into the castle, even though I already know. The only way I know of is straight through the front gates. But those are locked up tight. Sorry, ball spawn. But you're stuck out here with the rest of us. Anywhere I can go for punishing supplies or healing. I mean, the tavern and the temple go to the tankard tree the bartender there will get you set up with anything you need or the temple of Joaquin if you're the religious type alright that's everything what you do is your own concern I must away I must away I must away to aid well alright I must go away to aid the aid in the defense of Saradish Maybe I'll see him out there.